What's good? This is your man Tivo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box. I got a Mikey Sutton exclusive, and I'm redoing this video because there was I threw off some things in the original video. So I'm gonna get it right this time. I'm gonna put the right graphics up because just one little word will throw you off. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. Greg Berlante is about to stack the deck. After the nostalgic spice and emotional highs of Crisis on Infinite Earths on the CW, there are discussions to bring 52 to the small screen for a potential CW crossover. For those not familiar with the 52, it was a sprawling 52-issue 2006 weekly limited series co-written by Jeff Johns, Grant Morrison, Mark Wade, and Greg Rucka. Uh, basically, 52 was a series that basically... Uh, was 52 issues that spanned published a weekly comic for one whole year so 52 weeks each issue detailing an actual week chronicling the events that took place during the missing year after the end of the infinite crisis storyline in the dc comics ambitious and sculpted helped inspire a line-wide makeover of the dc universe a year later as with crisis 52 will be tweaked for budgetary and continuity reasons having to fit with the current landscape of the television arrowverse Lex Luthor will be the primary focus, giving regular folks the powers of a superhero with the Everyman Project, which ends up with fatal results. Presumably, this will be attached to Lena Luthor's Biomax and Supergirl. And for what Mikey's being told, Black Adam won't be allowed to appear because of his upcoming cinematic franchise, but even as a five-parter, there wouldn't be sufficient time to tell his story arc. However, Mikey has learned that they would also like to add the question and Booster Gold in this adventure. Both are spec to, uh, on the Lords of the Long Box as part of a long-term spec list that were these characters were reserved. And this, we knew about this months ago. So it sounds like they may have wanted to use something else, but now after uh, the Crisis of Infinite Earths, the most logical step would be to do the 52 storyline, not to be confused with the new 52, which took place after Flashpoint. Oh my God, there's so many. Now you know why comic book fans hate reboots, but sometimes they're necessary to get to a new jumping starting point to tell stories. So tell us what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you think of the new 52? I said it again. What do you guys think of 52? God, DC, you're killing me with all these reboots. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below to see if this is excited as the potential as the next big CW crossover. Until then, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.